Well, I wanted to stay uh, silent, but now I feel the need to speak loud um, to my supporters, to my fans. I'm not asking for a special treatment. I just want to be judged. How much longer this is going to take? I don't really know how I am because the, the situation has been really hard and uh, emotionally is uh, heavy. The stress is huge because uh, I never thought I would face something like this. Always I've been uh, against doping and um, I'm a big supporter of uh, clean sport. So um, at the beginning I didn't know how to handle it, but uh, over the time I just try to stay calm. And uh, actually I feel confident because I know I'm clean and I didn't take anything uh, knowing that it's banned, a banned substance. And uh, yeah, this makes me feel a little bit better, but um, I'm trying to handle it as much as possible. Well, I wanted to stay uh, silent since uh, until uh, the case will be solved. Uh, I didn't want to get out and say because it was very emotional. And uh, actually, as I said, I couldn't handle it very well. Uh, but now I feel the need to speak loud um, to my supporters, to my fans, to the public, because I'm sure that uh, they really want to know uh, why it's taking so long. And uh, I really felt the need to do that. That's why I'm here today. Knowingly, I have not taken any banned substance because uh, I am a big supporter of a clean sport and I always been against the doping. Always I've been careful to check all the components of the supplements to make sure that everything is authorized. It was a shock and I didn't know how to handle it. No, I didn't know what uh, Roxaduxat is. Uh, I had no idea, I never heard about it before. So um, I just went online a little bit uh, to find out something about it. And um, it was like something big because I read that uh, it's a big substance, banned substance. I had no clue at the beginning uh, from where this uh, substance is coming from. Uh, and then um, I just uh, wanted to ask the experts to explain me uh, how this happened and where it is coming from. Uh, as I said, I never heard about it, so I didn't know where I could take it and uh, actually to be in my urine. The experts have worked a lot to find the reason of this contamination. Uh, they found out that the supplement was contaminated in very low quantity of, of substance. A contamination is when someone takes an authorized supplement, but the company who sells it made a mistake and there is a very low quantity of a banned substance that should not be there. I have sent the evidence um, to the ITF uh, and uh, they deny it. I sent it in December uh, when we um, worked on it on the, and the experts sent me the, the results that is a contamination. And um, yeah, as I said, ITF denied it and uh, we are still going through it. Since uh, the ITF denies it, um, the only chance of uh, this case to be solved is to, to go uh, to the tribunal to have a hearing about my case and there to present all the evidence that uh, my uh, positive test is a contaminated uh, supplement. The hearing on 28th of February didn't happen because ITF requested more time to do additional testing. Even if I was looking forward to that, I agreed and uh, the hearing was postponed on 24th of March. The ITF requested that uh, the hearing on 24th of March should be cancelled. I did not agree with that because, as the rule says, a player that is provisionally suspens suspended is entitled to get an expedited uh, hearing. Because everything takes so long, I ask the ITF to lift up my suspension to be able to play, but they also refused it. I've been notified in October that uh, my urine test in August was tested positive. Since then, I had 10 tests uh, in a row that uh, all of them are negative, but it was blood and urine in the same time. The next step is uh, that the hearing will take place uh, at the end of May, 
but it is very fragile because uh, the ITF said that they might cancel it as well. If they do that, uh, it will be like almost eight months since uh, I've been uh, provisionally suspended first time. Uh, and I believe that it's not fair to stay eight months without even being judged by the tribunal. Emotionally, it has been not easy uh, the whole period, and uh, I just felt the need uh, to speak loud to my fans, to my supporters, actually to the public, because I'm sure they really want to know uh, what is going on and why it takes so long. I wanted actually at the beginning to remain silent until the case is solved, but it's too heavy, so I felt that it's it's really good for me, actually, at least, to speak it loud. It's been seven months since I'm provisionally suspended, even if I have all the evidence since December. I'm not asking for a special treatment, I just want to be judged. I'm thinking how much longer this is going to take. Until now, it is the hardest battle that I faced uh, in my life, in my career. I have received a letter from the ATF um, telling me that uh, I've been tested positive with an extremely low quantity of uh, Roxaduxat. The first thing I did uh, was texting uh, Patrick, my coach, to ask him if I understand well that uh, my urine test turned uh, positive. Since that moment, um, I could count on him, uh, on his help. And uh, because he was next to me on every step, uh, we could find the truth. I felt the support of people, of uh, my fans, and actually of everyone. I felt that uh, they don't believe that I only took something that is banned. And uh, this made me feel stronger to come back and uh, to work harder to get the level that I've been before or even more. So I'm working on that and uh, I really want to come back to tennis and to play at the high level. Uh, it looks like uh, they really got my personality and uh, the way I am. So that makes me really happy and gives me power to uh, fight for the truth and to come back to tennis. I really want to, to play again because I love this sport and uh, I really want to play for the big titles again. I have worked, I kept playing because I had the hope that uh, the case is going to be solved. I had uh, many delays, which was not easy to stay focused, but uh, I did my best uh, and I um, stayed actually as much as possible focused to, to work and uh, to, to practice as much as possible. Well, until now, uh, tennis uh, always been my life and uh, I feel that uh, I want to do it again when I... Uh, when I come back, I want to be as strong as I've been before, even more if it's possible. I'm working for that and um, I know that I'm going to struggle because I have uh, almost eight months without an official match and all the pressure that uh, it was about this case. But uh, I strongly believe that um, if I work hard, I can uh, be again at the high level. At this age, I think it's uh, really tough to lose days, weeks and months because uh, you are scared also about the injuries when you don't have official matches. It is more risky and um, if the time passes like this, uh, the harder it is to, to come back.